This is SNL Reviewed. I'm John Kramer, and Maroon 5's Adam Levine hosted this week. I have posted links to all the best sketches down below, and wow, what a difference a week makes. SNL Reviewed. Now, as I said last week in my review, Saturday Night Live is the most erratic show in the history of television in terms of quality from week to week, and the differences between last week's Jennifer Lawrence hosted show and Adam Levine's turn this week couldn't be greater. I mean, Last week, the only thing people were talking about on Monday morning was about the slightly racist bent of the Starbucks parody they did. And how about that? What did you guys think of it? Was it racist? But this Monday morning, the overall funniness of the show, Adam Levine's awesome hosting job, and the amazing cameos by Cameron Diaz, Jerry Seinfeld, and the return of the great Andy Samberg and his digital shorts will be what fuels the conversation. And wouldn't it be great if they could get Samberg to check in a few times a year with more digital shorts? Now, Animal Levine's monologue was as good as it gets and went on fire with the appearance of Seinfeld, Diaz, and Samberg, which then teased us with the hope that Sandberg might roll out another of his digital shorts, and then they delivered with a great Lonely Island music video starring Sandberg and Adam Levine, which was so good it left me thinking that Justin Timberlake now has some serious competition in the SNL universe. And after no politics on the show last week, they delivered two knockout bits, having some playful fun with President Obama and the ghost of Reverend Martin Luther King, and everyone favorite Vice President Joe Biden. You've got to watch them in the links down below. Now, they did two gay-centric sketches, one a talk show. Keenan Thompson and Anna Mulveen were gay hosts who solved people's problems. And as funny as it was, Bill Hader's over-the-top performance as a closeted firefighter has to be seen to be believed. And they more than made up for last week's lame parody of Starbucks with an awesome take on the Rosetta Stone language program and travel to Thailand. And how about it out there? Any of you been to Thailand and you got anything you can share with us about it? Now, the show was so good, in fact, that Weekend Update, which is usually a high point in the night, just blended in with everything else although Nassim Pedrad's Ariana Huffington and her teasing of Sex Myers is a bit I never get tired of. And really, there wasn't a bad sketch on the show. I love their Soprano-style version of The Carrie Diaries, Bobby Moynihan in drag about to score with Adam Levine after a concert, and especially SNL's take on what a bar fight between male pop rock bands would look like. And if you've got the time, hit the link down below to the entire show so you can watch it from beginning to end. Now, next week, the pressure is really going to be on as Justin Bieber not only hosts the show, but serves as a musical guest. And I'll be back here with my review, so be sure to hit the subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below so I can know what you thought of the show, and I'll see you back here next week.